share an immensely strong bond with group survival being the ultimate goal. Who gets struck down in war is a random event. It is not necessarily how good or bad a soldier you are, but being in the wrong place at the wrong time. The names on this stone wall here in Swarthmore were all young men cut down in their prime, never to return to their loved ones, never to experience the joys of raising a family, never to succeed in a career, never to grow old. On Memorial Day, veterans here are thinking of comrades whose names are on memorial stone walls in other towns across America. Simultaneously, veterans across the country are remembering their comrades on our stone wall. It is our duty as American citizens to always remember those soldiers who gave their lives in the service of their country. Keep their memories alive. Now the history of the bell. The bell was purchased by the Swarthmore Fire and Protective, Protective Association in 1910 from the McShane Bell Foundry of Baltimore, Maryland. It weighs 1,075 pounds. Originally, it was wrong to alert our town's volunteer firefighters. Since World War II, the bell has been told, told on the day of a firefighter's funeral, one ring for each year of, of age of that firefighter. The bell was dedicated to citizens of Swarthmore in 1996 and hung in the canopy of Borough Hall as a symbol of volunteerism and community spirit. The bell will be rung once after the names of the fallen soldiers are read for each of the four wars, World War I, World War II, the Korean War, and the Vietnam War. Upon reading each name, the Boy Scouts hands over a flag to a veteran and salutes, then the veteran places the flag on a marker around the stone memorial. At this time, I'd like the Boy Scouts to... I will now read the names. From World War I, Harold Ainsworth. Collins Chambers. Frederick Hawthorne. M.C. Johnson. Maurice F. Whitmer. That are the names of the personnel from World War I. World War II, Webster S. Allen, Marcus C. Bergen, Wilson Burke, Paul D. Caldwell. Bruce S. Cook, George E. Davison, Milton H. Fossil III, I. John Howland, Vernon Henderson, Hugh A. Hilperty, Daniel P. Johnson, Louis J. Coach, Jr. Alfred W. Larson. Barry S. McMullen. Malcolm Maine. Winthrop W. Mellon, Jr. Clarence D. E. Myers. Harry L. Miller, Jr. John M. Ogden, Jr. Boyd W. Stauffer. 
John H. Stokes, Jr. Louis J. Stork. William L. Stork. Walter A. Werner. George Hamilton. And those are the names of the Vietnam War. our speaker, uh, I'd like to just make a few comments about this great turnout for Memorial Day. I think we have more veterans here than is typical because they had to take fewer passes in line, which is a great thing to see. And I think as each year passes, the country feels only more and more proud and appreciative of what these veterans 